Well, tonight, an ABC4 News special assignment. You're in for a Pioneer Day treat. Working with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, ABC4 News has some extremely rare 24th of July pictures to share. The night team senior reporter Chris Van Oker has more on these wonderful old photos and the pioneer spirit behind them. It's the making of Pioneer Day. Picture this. A party for a people, a place, and Utah's pioneer past. What do you see when you look at those pictures? I, I see a window into the soul of a people. The LDS Church's senior curator calls July 24th, Independence Day, Thanksgiving, and a birthday celebration all rolled into one. I don't know of another regional celebration in America that is so widespread, so deep-seated, so traditional. And tradition is a word we heard often on Temple Square. When I say Pioneer Day, what do you think of? Um, I had ancestors that came across in the Martin Handcart Company, and so I think of my heritage. A heritage which includes more than its share of hardship. We were walking through the South Visitor Center earlier and talking about the pioneers and just how much respect we have for the sacrifices they did. And Scott Larson of Tucson, Arizona knows a thing or two about sacrificing. He also has handcarts in his family blood. I think most of the pioneers didn't have a lot of wealth, but they had a lot of vision. Steve Olson says Pioneer Day has changed over the years, from a celebration of a religion to a celebration of a community. Others, though, might call it a celebration of something else, family. What do you do on Pioneer Day? We go to This is a Place. What's that? It's a pioneer thing that they do. Now when you say pioneers, your family? Um, my fourth great grandpa was Brigham Young. <laughs> so yes. Some 160 years after her fourth great grandpa took part in the first Pioneer Day, this unique Utah holiday remains special for all Utah generations, young and old. In many ways, July 24th has become picture perfect. Jedediah Van Oker, ABC4 News, 19.